Hello, my name is Russ Troynt. I'm the Director of Product Management at Simba Technologies. This is a Simba video fact about using Excel 2010 Sparklines. Let's consider this user scenario. You're a VP of sales that needs to compare sales trends leading up to a recently completed month across many regions. It's easiest to spot trends using visual graphs, but you don't want dozens of large graphs in your report, one for each region nor do you need to see numbers for every month or quarter for each region. You need Excel 2010 Sparklines. Let's see a demo. So we're going to start with this relatively snazzy dashboard and you can see the three different styles of Sparklines. This is called a line, this is called a win-loss Sparkline, and this is called a column Sparkline. This is used to portray a numbers typically in the past leading up to the current year. This is a Boolean, were we greater or less than compared to prior months. And this is actually quite similar, but just a different portrayal of a line. In order to show you how to build one of these, I'm going to start with something a little bit more conservative by quarters, just so that we can fit all on the screen here. In order to construct a spark line, you select the data that you want in your spark lines. You go to insert, you choose which kind of spark line you want, you choose where you want it pasted, and a shift click, and you click OK, and there's your spark line. If you look at this immediately as a sales manager or VP of sales, you can see that Nevada has a downward trend in the last quarter and Rhode Island has a downward trend in the last quarter. Those are definitely states worth looking into. Now we can make these lines a little bit more attractive by marking the high points and the low points and changing the high point to green, changing the low point to red, and another thing we can do is put in the other type of spark line. Let's look at some year-over-year -year trends. I have in another pivot table and I'm going to do a win-loss and now I'm going to put it up here. Okay, and there's our win-loss bar charts. One last tip I want to give you that's really quite important if you're doing more than just quarters. If you're doing months, you end up with way too many columns. And you may want to get rid of some of the columns leading up to the last um, time period. And you might do that with a regular Excel column hide. One of the things that happens is your spark lines disappear. There is a way to fix that. You click on your spark line area, click on the design tab, edit data, edit the hidden and, and empty cells and say show data in hidden rows and columns. We can do the same thing for this. Okay, so in summary, spark lines are extremely compact but eye-catching ways to portray trends and results. This demo showed Excel 2010 running through Simba's MDX provider for Oracle OLAP product. This product provides direct live BI access to an Oracle database cube for ad hoc analysis from Excel 2010. For more information on this product, go to simba.com/oracle. Thank you for watching.